It's just being creepy. Get closer to that Mr. Mime and see what it's doing, would you? Oh, can I get closer? Oh! <laughs> Mr. Mime. What is it he hopes to achieve? What am I doing with my life? Uh... Hey, it's Anime K Swimming Bird, and welcome to Pokemon Legends Arceus. This is part 31. If you haven't subscribed or hit the <laughs> bell, notification bell, please do so to get caught up and, uh, and see new episodes. A photo lasts a lifetime. How about a sitting, says Ursa Luna. Oh, that's that guy somewhere behind the mud. So last time we defeated the noble Pokemon Electrode, Suian Electrode. And before we move ahead too far, I want to show you all this stuff that I magically have in my item box. This is all stuff from codes. I haven't even unlocked Jet Balls or Gigaton Balls, so if you want to put in the code, if you're, you know, seeing this episode during the time frame when this is active, you can put in the code Arceus Adventure, as well as the one that says thanks for your help and it has a, o, a zero instead of an o you know but you can't even use an o they, they want to make sure you can't make that mistake anyway so so yeah we got a bunch of stuff from that i'm going to go ahead and favorite these new types of pokeballs and then i want to use these pebbles before we get too far here whoa if you look at the box everyone goes in Let's see if we can, yeah, we'll just get these leveled all the way up. I'm just gonna make him, oh, actually that's the max we can do, level nine, okay. And then we got one more, a little more speed. I should be getting those defense up for him. Okay, but yeah, some helpful stuff, a little bit of extra gear and things, especially at the point that I'm at in the game, it's nice. I didn't mention, but an update actually came out for the game since I had played or recorded last as well, so nothing too much for me right now, but there's gonna be post-game stuff, and they fix some bugs, like the Cherim catching bug and everything. Hey there, in the mood for a style change about your request? Ooh, did you bring a mischievous to show me? Yeah, somewhere in here we've got one, there we go. Amongst all these Pokemon we've been snagging in the Highlands. You know, people are afraid of mischievous because of how it apparently wails at night but getting a good look at it like this really gives me some fresh perspective. Look how it billows and sways and flows. Wait, that's it. That's what I'll do. Wow, I just thought of some charming hairstyles and enchanting new palette of colors. All thanks to you and Mischievous here. Come by any time and try out my new ideas for yourself. Okay. No complimentary hairstyle, though. We gotta pay the bills over here at the hair cutters. Hey there, in the mood? Yeah, let's try it out. I got plenty of money now. The 500 Poke Dollars is not hitting my wallet as hard as it was early game when Edith was tricking me. Grab yourself a seat. Okay, so what do we got? What'll it be? Let's see, tied back. I think that is new. It's gonna say middle part, side part, modern bull cut. We look like Haku from, that's more, that's more of like a, uh, Team Galaxy cut, isn't it? It looks like Haku from Spirited Away, though. Side swept. That one's not bad. I won't be able to see as well. Fancy. It's called Fancy? That's a pompadour. But I guess it's Fancy. This is actually closest to my hair in real life, so I think I'm going to use that. And then Clementine. We had Pink Peach. Man, we've got some bright new colors here. I think I'm going to keep what I got, though. And then, yeah, let's do that. I think that's good. Oh, nope. <laughs> uh, confirm, there we go. I was gonna say, how do I get out of here? All right. We got it, fella. Here goes nothing. I'm gonna take this huge ponytail and smush it around and move it until, there we go, we got a pompadour. <laughs> I think we're gonna need a style change before the next area as well. And we're done here. Not a bad look, wouldn't you say? Yep, let's try the hat out. Gotcha. <laughs> it sinks into the Bombadar. <laughs> Just, like, absorbs it. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to change my clothes before we go to the next area, too. Especially because this headband is not working with this haircut. Drop by again anytime you hear. I'll keep polishing my skills. It's not too bad, but it looks a little odd. <laughs> it looks like I have uh, Ursa Luna or a uh, sort of a wordier 
tail on the front of my head or something, that round sort of look to it. Oh, their tail's only partially muddy. I never noticed that. Okay. I think I've always seen it from above like this. So, what else did we had some oh speaking of new style, we got some new clothes. New styles in stock, and then yeah, the request. I think we, we got a worm, madam. There she is. Hopefully she doesn't want all three. So this, this is what's known as a sandy cloak. The way the sand wraps around Wormadam, it's as if the very earth is giving it a loving hug. I never knew Pokemon were capable of such things. Yes, I've got it! Sand! <laughs> it would be very pleased if you would have a look at the latest additions to my cloak there. Okay. Fancy fashionable Wormadam. Yeah, I would say Worm Wormadam normally, but yeah, I think it's supposed to be Madam because they're all female. Let's see, we should have a lot of new clothes, I'm thinking. If we can find a good hat. We, these bowlers were here before. Warm caps. I think these were here before. I didn't notice them, though. This might be good with the last area I think we're heading to. But what else we got? Headkerchiefs. Maybe we didn't unlock any more. Oh, well, I can kind of see the headband a little better in this one. Yeah, we might not have unlocked any other different... Uh, Hats, at least, or any of that stuff, unless... Oh, the Zap one, that's definitely new. And then, yeah, a couple other of the, the caps. What do we got here? We should have an Electrode one of the, the fancy top, right? Oh, a snow jacket. Okay. Maybe I'll have a whole snow outfit. We'll have to see how much money I have left over once Baggin gets his cut. A Sneezler jacket. <laughs> and an Electrode one. I kind of like the, yeah, the kind of orange and black tie there. But yeah, most of these don't quite fit with the style that I like. Although some of them are still cute. Yeah, most of these we had, it looks like. They added a couple other patterns. Oh, plaid is new, I'm pretty sure. And then yeah, more paisley, camouflage. Ah, Karakusa, they do have the, this is the Dora boat. Maybe I'll wear this. I'm gonna try that. I'm just gonna buy it anyways, because I like the uh, the Dorbo look. I jumped ahead. I said I was gonna save my money until Baggin, but I don't want to give him everything I got. And then, oh, these are fun too. We got some new, I'm sure we got the zap one of that. That's a little loud for my taste, but they're, they're fancy and tasteful in a way that seems like they would go good in a festival. These cropped bottoms, definitely. Snow trousers? They don't seem that snowy to me. Are these like tights? They seem like they would be kind of thin. What would go good with our, uh... Hmm. Oh, the basculine one kind of... Eh, it's not the right, the right shade of green. Oh, maybe mountainscape. I might have regret... Oh, the Rowlet one. That actually goes pretty well. Let's do that. We got plenty of money. Let's live a little. Because I was going to say, I don't know if there is a... There might actually be one that goes with it, and I should have waited. Ah, that's too much. <laughs> that's like I'm wearing one of those thief things. And then, what do we got? Geese. This is all here already. Tailored suits. Okay. And then the split toe boots and things. We already had a bunch of those. That is what we were wearing, right? Yeah. I think I'm happy with what we got. Ankle boots. Yeah, some of this is not the style for me. So that's... Oh, snow goggles. That would be help. They always... I know these are actually like a very old invention to kind of see from, you know, the sun and the snow blindness and everything, but they just always seem very... <laughs> monocle. They seem more modern. They just have kind of a more futuristic look. All right, and the hat is the last thing. We got to change that headband to something that works better with what we got. The warm cap. Should we have a warm cap for the next area? It's kind of the only thing that I think goes with this outfit, unless I go back to the woven cap. Which I kind of like. Yeah, with this hairstyle, I think it looks better. Alright. Let's quit shopping. They're probably going to make me... Yeah, I got to go in here to, to get my hat back. But that's fine. The other thing we could do is this fox mask, but a little much. Even with how, uh, <laughs> how loud my outfit kind of is now compared to... Well, the Growlithe one, I think, yeah. This was also... I look even more like a little kid going to a festival, so... All right. 
now let's stop by. We should get Taohua's salt to him, but I do want to sell some of the stuff because that was another thing that we we got. Yeah, we got five of these star pieces and I already had one, so that basically doubled my money. I think that's all we have to sell. Okay, and then I wanted to grab some stuff while we're going because, yeah, there's a couple... The back alley, Mr. Mime. I, I want to see that. Maybe we'll wait until after we progress the plot, because I don't want to, don't want to focus too much on that. How you doing, Beauregard? Okay, it's incredible. Yeah, yeah I think I was thinking he would. Maybe after we do this, he'll get his uh, his Mothum surprise or dust ox rather. Sorry, multiple moth Pokemon in this. All right, we got another request with Lavintin. A nose pass to guide the way and watering with care. We have a nose pass. Gully of the Supply Corps has requested help. Something to do with a saying about nose pass. Seek her out and put your survey skills to good use by pointing her in the right direction. Probably north if it's nose pass. And then there's a pseudo widow at the bog bound camp that seems to be feeling rather poorly. Odo, one of the chaps from the village, is doing his best to treat it, but he could use a bit of help. Oh. I wonder how we're, we have to water it? That doesn't seem good for a rock type, but Pseudowoodo is a little odd. Uh, okay, let's go to the basement. I was gonna say, should keep an eye out. You can't really tell sometimes if there's requests unless they just show through the wall, it feels like. Hey, were you always down here? This is the guy that came on the boat, Mani, yeah. If you gather rare materials from far flung places, you'll be able to craft all sorts of items. Yeah, they were one of the newer people from the Ginkgo Guild. Tahua, got your salt, man. Don't crunch it all at once. Oh, so, if it isn't the Survey Corps recruit who quelled the Lord of the Isles, has Choi sent you to do the negotiating for him again? Well, I've quelled another no uh, Lord. <laughs> You're looking a little perplexed. Wonder why this old man gets so stubborn over selling the shopkeeper a few things? Well, maybe I'll tell you if you bring me three hunks of crunchy salt first. Electrode's favorite. Brought what I asked for already? No less than I expected of you. Wish I could persuade you to join my corps. Now then, would you let me have three hunks of that crunchy salt? Sure. Just step back a little. <laughs> Handed over three hunks of crunchy salt. Ah, crunchy salt, the Coronet Highlands' finest feature. If you see it in the wild, don't pass it over. As if it were just another rock, this translucent mineral is great for making a potent Pokemon lure. Oh, you've got to break it up with a hammer, then get the hunk chunks in a mortar and crush them right up. Grind them into a powder. Mix that powder with another ingredient and mi pack the mix together and you'll get a crunchy cake that Pokemon love to munch on. Well, I can't send you back to Choi a failure. Since you so kindly brought me this crunchy salt, tell him I'll set him up with some new wares. I forgot, you wanted to know what happened between me and Choi. Well... That wolf made off with my dearest treasure. I'll never let him live it down. My daughter. <laughs> well, okay. Can't, yeah, he. I thought he was gonna give me the recipe for that because there, there's so much crafting going on here. It really sounded like he did describe the recipe, but maybe I'll have to get that from Choi or something. Okay. Let's see. Kamado is our next stop. And then I'll decide, I want to try to do some, I won't do all the requests, obviously, but I want to try to maybe do some of the more interesting sounding ones, like the back alley Mr. Mime. I feel like I can't resist. This is the construction one, right? It kind of looks like a house. I didn't notice, they're kind of color-coded and, and divided that way. All right, Kamado, I'm leaping in. If you're not gonna have a chair ready for me, I'm just gonna leap right onto your desk. Murph. So what in Melly believes that the frenzies of these Pokemon are some sort of trial set by Almighty Sinnoh? We cannot know if that is the case or not, but it does beg the question, why ever would this Almighty Sinnoh drive the nobles to frenzy? Is it angered by something, or does it seek to drive a wedge between Pokemon and people? Well, far be it from us humans to fathom the thoughts of Pokemon. And what is that open space-time rift anyway? What caused it to open? I'm going to throw you up there, you can tell me. But you must be tired. Go on then, to the Wallflower, get some rest while you can. I've instructed Benny to prepare you his finest potato mochi. He's been giving you the worst stuff, the real dregs until now. Scaling perilous heights. I said you're rank five and you've saved us like four times, I guess you can have the good stuff. 
I wanted to look around his office because I heard there's like an extra area up there, but he always kicks me out. He doesn't want me to watch him practice his throws, I guess. <laughs> Dinner is on Kamado tonight. Eat your fill. I thought it was always on Kamado because we're just eating for free if we work for them. What an enticing aroma. My appetite just went through the roof. Quite a change from the commander's usual preaching about tightening our belts until things grow more stable. Well, I've heard talk that our progress surveying Pokemon has made gathering ingredients a less onerous, or at least less dangerous task. Look at that lady in the... <laughs> she looks like a... Just like an animatic for Claymation or like Gumby or something <laughs> sweet. <man. laughs> I know some of the Pokemon get frame rates issues, but yeah. It's almost like a fairy tale, isn't it? How you've fallen to us from the sky and gone on to help the people of Hisui so much. Indeed, taking on such perilous duties has earned you a great deal of trust, Mizuki. It's like I always say, behavior is a mirror that reflects one's true nature. He's into so much philosophy. You let your actions do the speaking for you, Mizuki, and the message is clear as day. It doesn't matter one whit where you came from, you're part of the Survey Corps and Jubilee Village now. I wonder if we're from Jubilee City, which is the Sapporo equivalent, like in real world Hokkaido, it's like, yeah, it's the capital. The next day. One of the only areas I think that's supposed to have a lot of planes around it and all of, yeah. That's why it became the capital, I think. Isn't it nice getting up early? Oh, is it? I'm, it's not as if getting up early changes what you can do with the day. Well, he's big into time. Yes, it does. It opens up possibilities, such as responding to Commander Kamado's invitation today in a timely manner. Well, I got that same invitation. I had to wake up even earlier than you to run all the way here for it. Oh, she lives farther away? Come on, no need to grouse so much over a nice little early wake up. He must live in the, uh, the Myerlands. Are you coming too? I'm sure we all can guess what the commander wants with us. I keep not recognizing myself. <laughs> yes, do come. Galaxy Hall is quite close anyway. I can teleport that with my god phone. Yeah, I think I was uh, getting used to the Growlithe and the hair, and now everything's different, basically. So, a little... Everyone is kind of loud in this game, and now, you know, a lot of the leaders are, so I don't feel too bad about being bright green. <laughs> You've now quelled the frenzy of four nobles. Um, on to the next one. I'm ready. When word of these frenzies arrived from all over Hisui, I feared what would become of us. But here we are, already preparing to quell the final noble. Yeah, who would have dreamed some stranger who tumbled out of the sky would be our salvation? Life never does stop surprising you. The only lord left to be quelled is Avalog, which lives in the Alabaster Icelands. You're gonna wear that? Where's your fluffy hat? You could have bought one. He's also the largest of the nobles, according to what Irida told me. Yeah, Avalog is like an iceberg. <laughs> Your mission is to quill Avalog, the final lord. And perhaps in doing so, we may trigger some change in the space-time rift as well. Or it will start all over again. Avalog may be the Pearl Clan's noble, but my clan and the Galaxy team will have to step up to resolve this too, for the sake of a brighter future. Then let us all meet in the cold reaches of the Alabaster Icelands. Until then, the slumbering lord of the tundra. Yeah, I'm just, it would be funny if Arceus is like, alright, now you gotta get Cleaver again, I'm starting over. No matter how many of these frenzied Pokemon you may quell, the fact remains that you are a stranger to our world. No small number of people still regard you with suspicion and distrust. The most you can hope for is to gain the trust of as many as possible. To do that, you must prove yourself through your actions. Will do. Oh, where are we going? Silene? What's she up to? Yeah! Uh-oh. <laughs> no, Abra! Oh, okay. Wait. Abra, protect her! It's a Whirlpool! Uh, Abra, teleport this Whirlpool outside! At once! Oh. She's not creeped out by Abra, but she's creeped out by a bug? Hmm. That's why Abra's there. It's not for her to escape. It's for it to teleport any Pokemon that get close. <clears throat> so, you're to survey the Alabaster Icelands next. This is the most treacherous climb you face in all Hisu. Wait, climb, like, climb it, or climb, like, <laughs> it would be with a B, yeah. <laughs> I think that's what she means. It's cold there. It would not be an exaggeration to say that you might be the only one surveying the Survey Corps. 
or among the Survey Corps, I can ask with surveying the Alabaster Icelands. You know your orders. See your mission through. Okay. Not until I go upstairs again, because they keep kicking me out. Oh, bagging. While you're here, buddy, I got 60,000. I don't know if... Oh, jeez. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to buy while we were around here, because there is other stuff we could get, like new stuff at the shop. But we'll see. What's the next one? 30,000? Alright, we got a little left. It is like I'm investing in more items, but can I ever get enough things to truly make up for all the money that he has taken from me? I thought we worked together, but Baggin is out for himself, it seems. Or he's, you know, he's just trying to get a good pay for his job. He knows a special skill. No one else can do it, so. Oh, here we go. Okay, is this? We can leave, yeah! I heard there was, like, other stuff up here, and I never thought to look. <gasps> Woo! Look at this. Peaceful. Is there anything hiding around here? Any secret stuff? Oh! <laughs> I didn't, I thought I'm like a chest or something hiding, not a W on the eye. It gave it big eyelashes. All right, there we go. I don't know if the unknown ever break out of the Pokeballs. I'm always like, I got it, good, okay. Yeah, we got a good look at all the requests that have popped up. Can we just teleport? I think probably, right? Yeah, now we don't have to walk all the way down. We can go right here. <sighs> okay, <laughs> I was like, Beauregard. What's going on with you and Beautifred? Yeah, look at all this stuff. Okay, Troy, you got new stuff for me, buddy? I don't have much money. I've got new goods in stock thanks to you. But you seem troubled. Is something the matter? Taohua told me. Ah, oh, he said I took his treasure, did he? That's one way to put it, but the story's not so simple. Please believe me for now that it's nothing you ought to worry about. Given what a fine customer you are, I imagine you'll end up giving, he'll end up giving you the full story at once, some point, or I'll. In any case, we've got excellent new items on our shelves. Do buy some. Okay. He's probably gonna have another request. I'm guessing. Oh, not quite yet. Now oh, we can get stealth spray. Max potions. That'll be helpful if we can't craft it anytime soon. Some of this is like, okay, you can just get it before you would necessarily be able to make it if you're not ranked up. Another hairstyle? Hmm, no, that's not right either. It needs a special extra something, but what? Oh, nice timing as always. I could use your help once again. Coming up with some new hairstyles. I've hit another wall here. And I bet I could get inspiration from a different Pokemon this time. A Pokemon like, yeah, Curlia. I can't remember how it looks exactly, but I'm pretty sure it has a real distinct style. If I could study one up nice and close, I bet it'd get me past this block. If you manage to catch Curlia, bring it here so I can have a look, okay? I can't remember if I got one or not. I, can't, I feel like I might have uh, messed that up because I was actually getting the little uh, Ralts and then the Curlia got away, if I remember correctly, but yeah, it, we didn't get it. We'll be able to get one sometime though. I know they're in the Mirelands. Rare wares. Anything else new here? Yeah, <gasps> a sand radish to make twice spiced radishes. What do you got, Ginter? Hi there, we've got some great stock in at the moment. Hey, here's all the goods you got right now. Anything I try? Mechanical box, to mechanical circular saw. So I did see not buying, eh? Well, that's too bad. Would be a shame if my stock were to get snatched up by someone else. I, that was one of the updates with Ginter, and he looks like he's got a bomb. They all have bomb bags on him, it looks like. <laughs> the, the update with him was that you can actually select with his stuff now. I think you had to just kind of buy what he was offering, but they fixed that a little. That is a new request. We were tracking the back alley Mr. Mime, which I think is around here. Yeah, right ahead. What's going on with this? I need to know. Andra. Oh, hello. Once, Thanks again for finding me those Orin berries. Oh, this is the guy with the berries from way early. I had a wretched time in the Fieldlands getting harried by Pokemon left and right. They even got me with a few of their moves. But I did get those tumble stones, so I think I've earned some time to cool my heels here. I didn't have a chance to use all the orange berries you got me, but they made a lovely snack. It's nice to be able to carry so much. Asking that fellow at headquarters to help me fit more in my satchel was definitely the right move. So, helpful soul that you are, I suppose you're here about my request to the professor. On to the matter at hand then. Would you mind investigating the Mr. Mime that's taken up residence here in the village? 
Just having a wild Pokemon among us is scary enough. And then there's the eerie way it moves. The security corps refused to handle it for whatever reason. I'm hoping a survey corps, a person like you, can help me out. Look, it's over there! Huh. Certainly in an alley. See, see what it's up to, would you? It's just making an invisible wall, right? It's just being creepy. Get closer to that Mr. Mime and see what it's doing, would you? Oh, can I get closer? Oh! <laughs> Mr. Mime. I'm gonna throw a Pokemon at you over your invisible wall. No, that's not gonna work. Yeah, he's, uh, he's being tricksy. Did my Onyx just pop out of nowhere? Before we mess with that too much. Oh, hey, great time when we gathered the harvest. Crops turn out real nice, just as planned. Here, yours for the keeping. Leopard berries, orange berries, citrus berries. Nice. Before I cramp, crop, <laughs> plant any crops. Just wanted to see. I think we have all the farmlands, it looks like. Because there's my spiel. And apparently even Pokemon have some flavors they prefer over others, though. I suppose that's probably true of all living things. Let's see. Perhaps another time. Let's try a mint harvest. Ten that. Oh, no. Never mind. Maybe I'll wait on that. <laughs> I wonder, are those the, not the nature mints that you can get in some of those games? I'm not sure. Oh, it's covered in leaves, not a rock in sight. Duna, leaf, tarish. You're both wrong, it's trash. No leaves, no stones, trash. <gasps> What's she think it is? Dune, cause he's the leaf, she's tarish. It's definitely, didn't have trash stuck to it. Minerals, they're minerals, Duna. Hmm. <laughs> they're all named after their preference. I'm telling you, Burmy is the Pokemon with a coat made of leaves. No, no, Burmy co cloaks are made of minerals like sand and rock. I'm quite sure of it. Ha! Huh. If it ain't covered in trash, it ain't a Burmy. Is there pink trash back then? Ha! Huh. This conversation is getting us nowhere. Are you both sure you've actually seen a Burmy before? It wasn't some other Pokemon. We might ask you the same thing. I've seen Burmy here in East Sweden, and I've seen them back in my own region too. And guess what? They're all covered in trash! Oh my, you must have gotten confused somehow, my dear. Please, both of you. We're just repeating the same arguments over and over at this point. We need some sort of boy listening in to show us all the Burmy. Hey, you're from the Survey Corps, aren't you? We could figure out which of us is right pretty quick if someone brought us an actual Burmy. Catch one and show it to us, would you? Which is the real Burmy? Oh, I wonder if we get to choose. Because we have all three. Got the Burmy yet? The trash-covered one? Uh... That's the sand one. We do have the trash one. I don't know if I actually got a leaf one now that I'm thinking back, but let's give him the trash one with the weird rebar and stuff. Oh, now that's a Burmy, and no mistake. Huh, I don't know about that. Indeed, this Pokemon is no Burmy. <laughs> Burmy, me, me. It is. Detective Pikachu, I still remember them being like, Burmy, me, 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 me. They just talked a lot. <sighs> Ugh. There, there. Mm. Hi. Sorry if we startled you. These two aren't going to admit this is the real Burmy. Looks like we'll just have to line it up with both the fake ones, too. Hey, survey guy, be a sport and bring us both those wannabe Burmy as well, would you? Let's see, I have the sand one. Brought a Burmy to show us? It should have minerals stuck all over it. And yeah, I don't remember. We'll have to see if I actually got the leaf one. So I kept getting the sand ones, think I didn't have one yet. Take a look. Good look, both of you. This little one is the real Burmy. Hmm, I guess it looks pretty similar, but there's no way this is a Burmy. Yeah, I gotta agree. Where's its trash at, huh? <laughs> gotta see that trash! Honestly, how can someone still be in doubt after seeing a real Burmy right up close? I suppose we'll need to compare it to those fake Burmy to prove the point. Can you carry on until you brought both the Burmy lookalikes these two spoke of, my dear? Let's see. Have we brought a Burmy to show us? Yeah, okay, I did get it early on. I was gonna say, I would've caught that pretty early in the game. I got all three. Not the same with Worm Adam. Yep, this is a Burmy, all right. It's similar, dear, I'll grant you that, but this must be a different species. You ain't buying it, it's ain't a Burmy. Doesn't stink enough. Well, we've seen, we've all seen each other's supposed real Burmies, but we're no closer to agreeing on anything. Nothing else for it. Let's have Professor Laventon decide the Burmy he chooses to put in the Pokedex will be considered the real Burmy. Once you complete Burmy's Pokedex entry, come back and show us what it says, will you? Did we pick one of those? Or get one of those? Yeah. So that's how it is. Seems all our Burmy are indeed. Well, Burmy, all three of them. 
So you're saying that Pokemon of the same species can come in forms as different as these? How incredible! Guess that means we were all in the right. Looks like we washed our breath arguing. Jeez, well, I'm sorry I was so harsh on both of you. No, no, I'm just as much at fault. And really, this whole escapade has taught us a lot about Pokemon. I'm truly glad. I apologize for getting a little heated back there, too, but it all turned out well in the end. Sorry for getting you caught up in our mess. You did a great job clearing up our confusion. Hopefully you got... Oh, Leaf Stone and some experience candy. Now then, I'm feeling fired up to learn even more about Pokemon. If you find any other curious Pokemon, we'd love to hear about them. They're probably going to end up having Wormadam stuff or something, too. But yeah, the... Uh, the Burmy Escapade. I had a Leaf Stone already. I don't know if that was worth it, but you know, I'm here to help the people and sneak around and scare Mr. Mimes. Yeah! Gotcha! Can't make invisible walls on both sides or else you'd be stuck. Oh, okay. <laughs> Zoiks! He's gone! It ran off that way. Which way? It would have run unless it had some. It wouldn't run unless it had something to hide. Now we've really got to find out what it's up to. Maybe it's just scared because someone's chasing it. Alright. I don't know where he went. Oh, he's over here. Okay. Tracked it for me. Yeah. I was going to say that I always associate some of those sound effects with cartoons, and then I've been watching, finally trying to catch up with One Piece, and all the, the sound effects in that are so, especially with Luffy, it's like so cartoony and boing, stretch, all that stuff. It's like, yeah, reminds me of watching Looney Tunes or something, but they use those sounds in here too for comical effect. Look, that Mr. Mime ran right up there. Oh, there it is. I'm sure we can run right up there as well. And there's no way that I'll get blocked. Mm, do I have to go all the way around, or can I go up the cliff? What if we did this? Oh, yeah. Ursaluna, help me! <laughs> Long live the boy. No, he's not going to help me. We're going to have to go around. Let's try doing this. And teleporting. And then just go around this way, because I'm sure Mr. Mime didn't block the entire headquarters. It'd be crazy if I had to go on the roof or something. Oh, he did block this way. What? Are we supposed to go around and then through here and around? Oh, no, he blocked it on this side this time. Oh. Oh. Over this way? Yeah, this is like a invisible labyrinth here. Hmm, this feels like a dead end. Unless there's another way to go about it, I think I'm stuck. Hmm. And there's no way to get up on that rock, so wouldn't I have to go here? And then can we go on this side of it? Oh, yeah, it looks like you have to go around. Oh, there's gotta be an opening, right? Yep, there we go. <laughs> yeah, we should be able to throw paint on the, yeah, or something. Shoot some mud onto the, the glass or panes so we can see it. It ran off that way. You know, you've got a roundabout way of trying to get up close to Pokemon. Are you secretly scared of them or something? It's his, his invisible walls. Do you not know nothing about Mr. Mime? Yeah. <laughs> Anything about Mr. Mime? What, you're joking? Unless that Mr. Mime is using some sort of mysterious power. Whatever the case, this calls for further research. Gotta get after that Mr. Mime. Come quick. I thought he was just some sort of strange clown man, but apparently he's got secret powers and special fairy magic. Oh, what's going on? Another one, Anth? Man, the color of your clothing can make all the difference in the world, don't you think? You think? Absolutely, I bet you would like to dress up in your favorite color. I want to make clothing in new colors, but I can't get a hold of the right materials. If you happen to have red shards, blue shards, and green shards, would you kindly give me one of each? Oh no, I used a bunch of those. I, I think I just need one of... Oh, jeez. They're ready to ambush me. I think, yeah, we're missing blue shards, so we're gonna have to come back to that quest. He's back by his tree, where he was, where I gave him the berries originally. There you are. Look, Mr. Mime's over there. Hmm. Go see if it's really making walls. Yep. This one might be a little harder. We have to go all the way around... Oh. Oh, it seems like there's no way to get to it unless I can go up a ladder. Uh, 
Yeah, this is like, okay, we have to go around this way. And then go over here and not... Oh, no! <laughs> so what to make for the Alabaster Icelands? You're not doing anything, are you? <laughs> uh, not quite yet. I'm chasing a Mr. Mime down. I see, of course, I'm all too aware of the injuries done to some of our own good people because of the frenzies of the other nobles. There seemed a little choice but to intervene. But this Avalog out in the Alabaster Icelands has an armed soul, as I hear it. Does it really behoove us to go out of our way to subdue him? If Avalug's as great and mighty as they say, he could very well cause avalanches. Avalanches don't require any Pokemon's help. They occur perfectly well on their own, you know. I confess I still have my doubts whether we should even be getting involved in this case. No damage has been done so far, but if we send Mizuki out there, we'll be putting him in danger of real harm. But if the Lord is suffering in its frenzy like people say, then wouldn't it be kinder to quell it? There's simply so much we don't yet understand when it comes to the noble Pokemon. We don't know whether their frenzies truly are causing them to suffer, nor do we know why they enter those states in the first place, or if this is all connected somehow to the space-time drift. Seems like it. What is it, I wonder, that the commander hopes will come from about from our quelling the nobles, or indeed from surveying any of the Pokemon of this land? What is it he hopes to achieve? What am I doing with my life? Uh... I hope, he's probably protecting in his mind, but I hope a way of coexisting. I certainly hope so too. I, uh, the goal of my research is to help build a future where everyone gets along with Pokemon. Professor Laventon? Ah, nothing to bother yourself about. Doubtless I'm just being a silly sausage. You've got a, message to a mission to carry out, haven't you, Mizuku? Then we'll support you in it. The best support I can offer you now is another chance to practice your battle skills. Uh, I better not. I'm a little busy right now. I may not be able to beat you, but there's always something to be learned from seeing how battles unfold between different Pokemon. Okay, good. She's giving me a chance to wait on that. Uh. Nope, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I wasn't even... <laughs> I was over by the ladder. Hopefully I can get this Mr. Mime without having to fight her first. Uh, right here. And then... There we go. Okay. There was a hole... Behind the tree. He <laughs> burped at me. I'm trying trying to run again. Wait, you! Oh. Whoa, I, I can't go any further. There's definitely something here I can't see. Yeah, you didn't believe me? What is it, Mr. Mime? Looks like something's got you in a panic. What, Reese? You know this, Mr. Mime? Yep, it helps me guard the gate sometimes. When it stands out front and does that eerie dance, wild Pokemon can't get in. It's like there's some kind of invisible wall. It's docile and it helps me with my job, so I just let it do as it pleases. Just creep everyone out, but that's the price to pay for a safe village. Who would have thought? Sorry to make you go to all that trouble, but it brought me some peace of mind, if nothing else. If we've got invisible walls cropping up here and there, folks had better keep an eye out. Or perhaps not an eye. Well, however one watches out for invisible obstacles. <laughs> Whoa, because they can't see me. Or my walls. Okay. That wraps that up. He's just gonna hang out here, it looks like. Ooh, a little too close. We're about to get into that battle. Okay, I think we'll save that for next time, though. We're getting a bunch of stuff I don't really need, so I might as well get that. Oh, someone was like, hit X. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you can just throw stuff in a lot faster than I've been doing it. Thank you guys again. That might have been Shenron again in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to leave a like, maybe subscribe or hit the notification bell, I do appreciate it. I think we hit up most of the new requests in the area. There's still some more we can do, but I might just hold off and get going, because an episode of requests is enough for me. I'm ready to head to Alabaster after we fight against Akari. We'll do that next time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Goodbye.